Hey everyone, this is Jane with Barlow Herbal, and look who's back. Oh my gosh, I finally got him while. here. I know, she coaxed me down here. So. Yeah, Dr. Brandon Nielsen's here. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, the fact that there's no longer a cold and flu season. True. Right? Well, so, yeah, historically, you know, you think around this time of year, it becomes fall and football season and holiday, and people think of this as flu season or cold season, but, you know, in reality, we're seeing it, it's not like that anymore. The 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 viruses are changing, the bacteria changing. Animals, you gotta see what's happening in nature. Things are changing, but since we are here and we're talking about this, I wanted to talk a little bit about bacteria and viruses because people still historically think, oh, you gotta get your flu shot. You know, I just had a woman who came into me two days ago and she said, oh my goodness, I can't get out of this. Otherwise, they'll fire me. I have to get my flu shot. So we did some things for that to counteract that, um, some homeopathy. But let's talk about bacteria because, you know, people, they're, they're like, what is a bacterial infection? We know that, um, you know, bacteria is generally localized. Um, you know, it'll be in like one place. Most colds, so you know, most colds are viruses. They're viruses. People think, oh, it's a bacterial infection. But you notice finally doctors aren't, medical doctors aren't prescribing as much antibiotics because they're creating these superbugs that are completely resi resistant to antibiotics. So if you look in the literature and the research, I mean you can even go to some medical websites like WebMD and it's going to say, it's kind of funny to read through it, but because we naturally know that you know there's so many things to do, but if you read through it, it basically says, and for viruses, which are much smaller, you know, you're looking down at 40 nanometers or smaller, you can't do anything. You know, you, there, for viruses, I mean, thank goodness that we've been having these vaccines because it's helped, but you can't do anything for a virus. And it's kind of like, so what are you going to do? Yeah. They don't yeah. even they don't even suggest, like, you could take zinc. You could take echidage. No, no, no. Why would they do that? You know, it's, so it's yeah. like you can't do anything for viruses. Right. So so what do you do? Yes. Yeah, you, so you, you can't do anything. Except for let no, it you, course. No, you can't do anything. <laughs> you just have to sit and... You might die. You might not die. No, that's the dumbest thing. It's like, oh, okay, are you serious? I see what you're saying. No, I'm, 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 of being, course, you're, okay. I'm being sarcastic. Of course you can do something. <laughs> and besides that, of course you can do something for, for bacterial infection. Yeah. So just so you know, as a doctor, as a holistic doctor, as a functional me medicine doctor, I generally err on the side. Any type of cold, I'll always, I'd say 80 to 90% of the time, I'll err on the side that it's going to be a viral infection. All right? So when people, you know, come in, hey, I've got a stuffy nose. Oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you. Another good way to know if it's a viral or bacterial is viral will generally have more symptoms. So around three to four. So if you think like stuffy nose would be one or runny nose. Um, sore throat, fever, and then ears. That would definitely be a virus because it's more, or even a cough. You know, three, four symptoms, I'm looking more at a virus. And like I say, you generally are going to err more on the side of it's a virus. Most colds are viruses, rhinovirus. Here's an interesting article in JAMA, uh, Journal of American Medical Association. This came out, and they did it. It's, it's a pretty cool research, but you still see medical doctors out there saying, I, I just read a thing yesterday at Duke University saying, if it's longer than two weeks, then it's generally considered a bacteria, which is completely wrong in the research. In journal JAMA, if you look, two years ago they did an article and they said, if you have a nose infection that lasts longer than two weeks, it is rhinovirus, it's a virus. So just think about that. The other thing you gotta be aware about is if you have a sinus infection, it can also be yeast. So your best product, your best product for virus and yeast, seriously, you guys don't miss this is LDM. I know. Seriously, I, immunity boost. I mean, so you don't need to just have that now. Yes, you yeah. need to stock up on it now. And I'm I'm talking about this because it is phenomenal. You need to have it now, especially because you're thinking in your head that it's flu virus season, but um, you always need to have it on hand, real, real. Yeah, because even in the middle of the summer when I travel, when I get on an airplane, I've told all of you, you this many them. times that every time I travel, I never get on right. an airplane without my lomatium. So either in liquid form, and, and you know, this is not just to simply say, buy a bunch of lomatium. To me, this is like education and empowerment. Yeah. Because lomatium is one of those things that once you learn about it, in fact, 
you and I have not known each other that long. It's true. A couple of years. So no. let me ask you something. What did you used to use before that? Because we all know as, as people who are into our health naturally, because if you're watching this, you are a person who takes care of themselves naturally. We know about what oil of oregano. I use? I use so much stuff. You use so much stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. I do. And, there's so, all sorts of and I use a lot of things too besides LDM. But let me tell you, the heavy hitter, in my opinion. It's a, it's a great heavy hitter. Is but it's jump. also, what's nice about it is I do like the fact that it is gentle enough that I can give it to my kids. Exactly. In fact, um, I just did a, I just did a interview on a, th a, a the Thriving Child Summit. And we, that's what we talked about was the whole time, was how you can use Lomation for your kids and how safe it is. Because you can even give it to little babies. Like, you have a brand new baby. Yeah, I do. And so, Dr. Nielsen and his wife just had a little baby boy named Calvin. So and he's cute. so cute. Yeah, I haven't so seen cute. him since he was a newborn, but um, how many months old is he now? Two months. So, he's two months. He's still squishy and young. Maybe that's why I haven't been down here. <laughs> and I <laughs> asked him, so I asked him, okay, wow, you look kind of tired today. Hey. Is it from the new baby? Plus, he has two little girls that are adorable. But that's one thing I think I really love about the LDM is that it's very safe to give to your little kids and your babies. So, so yeah. So you know, flu season. Oh, I'll tell you one thing yeah. about this really quickly. Last thing, um, if you you know you think of scary, scary uh, pandemics, endemics, you you think of that, and the worst, the worst ever, the most. When they say the worst, the that killed the most would have been 1918. Right. That was flu. Right. Now, I'm not going to teach about vaccines on this one, but, you know, maybe we should title this, Should I Get My Flu Shot? I yeah. think that's a great idea. And if you got if you got to the end of this video, kudos, because now yeah, you, know because, how, you know how we came up with the title. So this is really interesting because the most death that has occurred from a pandemic was the 1980, 1918K outbreak. Some people say 50 to 100 million people died. Right. Tons of people. So... When you think about that, you can't do anything, right? There's nothing you can do. I'm being sarcastic. Of course, there's something that you can do. So right now, the most, the scariest virus is still the flu virus. It Absolutely. It is still the absolute, the By scariest far. virus. Right. You need to get yourself charged, get those things that are going to allow you, and, and have that secret weapon of, of you know, lomation of LDM. You know, I agree. Seriously. I mean, it is a secret weapon. It is a secret weapon, but it, it's not a secret to you. So have it, keep it on hand so that you can use it. And then the other thing is around the holidays, be careful, you know, about what you eat. Be careful about your emotions and keep moving. You know what? That's all so good. Those little nuggets right there. I mean, that's phenomenal. It is. Exercise, it boosts your immune system. It's it phenomenal what it does. Well, and sugar hurts your immune system. It destroys your we immune system. We talk about this for the next Yeah, hour. so let's not, ta let's not talk won't. about that because we really definitely could. Maybe we should take another minute and film something about that. But uh, yeah, so think twice before you get the flu shot because it doesn't do you any good. <laughs> How about that one? Putting it right out there, right? There you go. You know, you just got to say it like you, like so, you, like yeah. you feel it. Well, uh, and thank you for stopping by. It's so yeah, nice to sure. see you. For oh my sure. gosh. And you guys, thanks for tuning in, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Dr. Nelson, you rock. Thanks.